Hey, people. It's me again. So, anyways. Um, Stikes, Hex, and Hammers 666 have made an interesting video about the state of YouTube. But I think in some ways that that is probably like the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. And then considering um, the stuff with uh, Article 13, Article 11 for anybody that's in, in any of the EU countries. And then the whole thing with revealing of net neutrality and any of these other things that have to do with internet censorship lately. Yeah. Because considering, you know, even though I'm not necessarily considering myself to be one of those uh, conspiracy theorist nut jobs like Alex Jones or or his left wing equivalent. Yeah. But considering all of that, who really does benefit with all this sort of stuff? It's basically all these different corporations and certain governments that have authoritarian leaning ideologies of some sort. Yeah. You know, because in some ways I I don't know who has stated this sort of thing, you know, about a well informed public, a well informed mass is is a worse nightmare for these type of of uh, governments there, you know, especially in the last few years, you know, that we can basically quickly fact check certain things, you know, as far as when it comes to uh, whether it's left wing or right wing propaganda that's being uh, shoved down our throats at some point or another, you know, that we can simply uh, be informed about about what it is they're trying to do and considering all that I mean that's just simply the reason why we have certain people um, on here that are kind of that way But yeah, it's like what I said before about it is just simply people who are who are these ideologues is is not really about the truth that they're seeking in some ways. It's really about how much they can fool a bunch of people just in order to make a quick buck. Yeah. And so what I said earlier about my hashtag walk away video. And then it was something else that was in another uh, hashtag walk away video where someone had pointed out that that when it comes to certain people on the left, they like to make people think that they're uh, that they're benevolent, you know, in some ways. But in reality, it's not really even the case at that point. It's just something that people are starting to wake up at that point, especially here and where I live. Yeah. But I could go on and on about all this sort of stuff there, you know, but it's just simply that, that, um, there's just... Some other things that are more nefarious at play, but we don't really see that. And then people who want to call that sort of thing out, they're always called as being some nutcase, you know, whether it's on the left or on the right, but then whether or not if they were truly intent to inform people or intend to just to fleece the masses is yet to be seen. But considering, you know, when it's 
certain ideologues that are known to be that sort of way is kind of very prevalent. You know, with like Alex Jones, for that example, you know, it's like he believes that everything is tied to some Illuminati, uh, Bilderberg, reptilian people from the planet Uranus or something like that, you know, and, and, you know, when in reality that's not even the case. It's just simply that he's making all this sort of stuff up to kind of make, uh, sense of certain things. And it's one of the things I kind of said with, um, to my dad at one point, you know, that I believed these conspiracy theorists is sort of a new religion of some sort. Because considering any of these uh, classical, like, type of religions are now no longer in favor, you know. So there's something now that certain people that just want to seek to, you know, where if it's this sort of conspiracy mumbo jumbo like from Alex Jones or this fourth wave intersectional feminist social justice warrior mantra yeah so anyways I'm near the house right now and I think I'm just going to uh, take five for a while so anyways talk to you guys later